Hey guys, want to build a Git API in Appian? In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a project management API step by step from the database setup. So let's dive in. So you might have seen that there are multiple Git APIs available on the internet. So for example, I am currently into one site here, Epiphany here, and it has multiple, you can say here, free Git APIs here. And if you test any API here, it will give you some responses here. For example, random user is there. If you test it out, it will give you the data something like this one here. Any random user data, it will try to fetch it out. Let's say that we want to create an API in Appian, which also gives us a related to the data that we have in Appian, how can we do that? So for that, I have first of all taken a table here, project management. So it has few important fields. For example, ID of the project is there, name of the project, their duration and priority, budget, status, all these required fields are there. And now we want to create an API out of it so that with the help of API, we can get the data in Appian. So for that one, what we will do here is for this database table, create a record type here. After you have created the record type here then we will go into our designer and now we will go to the new here and click on the web api the web api window will open here here you have to select the query record type because actually we are querying the data from our record type here here we have to select the record types so just type the name of your record type here so i have selected the project management record type it has all the data of the project and we will name the web api as well like okay? get project data and you have to mention one endpoint as well because see any api you will see at the end you will find that there is some endpoint here any other api for example one api cat fact is there see cat and then after that there is a fact also written there that is the endpoint what should be there so that it will be meaningful i will write here project data and click on create here and save your security changes click on save now the API window has opened here. Here you will see that Appian by default create a API for you with all the data. Even if you test this API out, it will work perfectly fine. And see here, all the data currently we have, you know, like around, uh, let's say that 25 data, all the data currently it is giving here. But we have to customize it as per our requirements here. So for that, what we will do, first of all, let's remove all the comments here. After that, what we will do here is here you can see one query rule is there. So for this query rule, we will remove this query rule from our API. Okay, to make our API more cleaner. So just click on selected expression and create an expression rule for this one here. And here we will write here, get project data. Click on save here. It will create a separate rule for that. So that whatever manipulation we have to do, we can do it separately. And here it will get replaced. Still, if you click on test, nothing will break here. Everything will work fine. Now, the next thing that we will add here is that, see, currently it is giving out only one response only here. But what if there is no data in the API? Then what it should do here? Then it should notify the user, whoever is hitting that API, that no data available. So for that, we will add a null check here. So if is null or empty, let's say local bank records then what kind of response it should get here so it is the http response so this parameter is used to set the responses in the api here and it has one header as well after that there is a body as well that will put out the data in the json format so here in the value we will go and make this here list so that we can put out multiple data in the json value we will write success so success is going to be false and the response is going to be data not available otherwise let's say that otherwise should give out the correct data here so always try to add null check in the api so that if data is not there then it should give a success is equal to false as well same way we will try to give the response for the success as well so see here this is the value part here and we will customize the value part as well so just remove the value and replace with this one here it will be success true and the data will be local bank records and you can test it out once again and you will be able to see that it will give now success as well and the responses are also there 
but this is a very straightforward use case what if the user requires that i don't want all the data whenever i hit the request i have a project id and that project data only i need it it means that you have to query the data uh, in your database so for that we will create a query parameter here so just create a rule input that a project id and we will give it here integer and here we will add a filter so the filter is going to be let's say that query filter and field will be going to be project id so this is the project id operator is going to be let's say equal to and the value is going to be ri bang project id and apply when apply when always try to add it only it will be applied when it is not null or empty ri bank project id save your changes see till here it was very simple because we used to do this on a regular basis here creating rule input in our expression rule but how can we do that for the api here where can we create rule because if i write here project id ri bank doesn't support here how can we do that then see here in the output section you will see that there is a query parameter already there so just click on new query parameter and here the user will pass the project id let's say and let's say they passed five how can i get this data into this expression here for that you have to write here http and select this one here and then http request will come and just click on dot and after that enter dot and select the query parameters and whatever the parameter that you have written just copy this parameter give dot here and paste it here and now if you click on the test request you will find that only project id 5 data has come up here none of the other data has come up at all now let's say that the requirement got changed here now they don't need a specific project data here now what they require is that i want all the project whose priority is let's say medium or low or high anything they want the data by priority first of all again you have to come into your expression create a rule input for that so i will just create a priority rule input it will be of text type here and one query filter for our priority so just copy this one here paste it here and here we will write here priority and it will be ri bank priority here and here as well ri bank priority save your changes here and after that let's go to our query parameters and here as well you can see now priority will start to show same thing we have to do here as well just copy everything from our paste it here we have to create new parameter for and whatever the name that you will give here that only will come up here so as of now we don't need this query parameter we want all the project whose priority is let's say high here so just copy the name of your query parameter and paste it here and click on paste one here so see here when you selected high all the data of high query parameters are now reflected here you can see multiple data if you write here low all the data of low priority will get reflected here save your changes you can also click on that url in order to see your data see your data will show something like this one click on pretty print and your data will show something like this to the user here you can actually see that see we have tested you know like uh, some random data from free api and our data also looks something like this one only here success true and all the responses here and that's it you just built a get api in appian and tested it as well added multiple query parameters as well now for the assignment you can try something interesting here if you go in the free api list there is something like cat fact here if you click on the cat fact every time if you click on refresh it will give you a different cat fact here let's say that you have to build something similar to in appian how can you do that so for that purpose here i have taken a cat fact table here so if you see here and i have kept multiple cat facts here around 24 cat facts are currently present in my table here and then i created a api here see here this is appian community api and if i click on refresh here every time it will give me a random cat fact here in this way you can also create an interesting api which will give you a random data every time you click on the test request as well do give a try on your own and let me know if you have any doubts at all so that was all for now guys i hope you find this tutorial helpful so try it out once that was all for now thank you